Hold that. There we go. All right. I'm going to dissect the worm. This is a real killer. It's a tough one. It's, it's very, very difficult. First thing I'm going to do is get all the pins out. How do I get the pins out? I pull out the scissors. I pull out the two probes. And then I can put my hand over the rest and dump them out. There they are. So the scissors back. There's one of the probes back. Dissect. Okay. I got a sharp end, a little pointy end. See the difference between the pointy end and the round end? Can you see that? Okay, the pointy end is the head. Round end is the tail. All right, you with me so far? I want to start cutting near the head. To do that, make sure the worm's kind of flat. Take the probe and insert it into the skin. Just It just pops right in. Pop. And then I just kind of unzip it. And once I get it unzipped a little bit, a little bit, where'd it go? Happens to me every single time. There it is. I just keep unzipping, and I finally get down far enough, and this pisses me off, so I'm going to pin it open. Notice I put the, ang the pin at an angle, yes, no? Okay, I don't put it straight up and down, it's an angle, so that there's lots of room in here between them. Now, once I've got it pinned, it just stays still, and I just keep the point inside and keep unzipping. So I get down a little farther, and I get a little tired of it moving around, and then I pin again. I sing when I dissect. I don't know why. I should have probably put it more in the middle of the tray. But so goes life. You'll find I don't get real upset and rattled about a dissection. Now I've gone about halfway down the, the, the worm. And that probably is actually plenty far enough. Because I can see everything you need to see here. So what do we have? Well... I did a pretty good job. We have this little flat ribbon here. That's the intestine. I have, as I pick up this big thing here, the very end, notice it's about, I started about an inch down from the head, and then I started going, and about another inch below that. It won't be exact on your worm because they're different sizes. I get the, the thick stuff, and the, but the very end of that thick stuff, it comes down to a, a really thin thing. That's the vagina. Then it goes up in the over, uh, excuse me, the uterus, the thick stuff that's the uterus. And then you get this thin little spaghetti angel hair looking stuff, and that's the ovaries and the oviducts. And you can't tell the difference because without a microscope, you can tell it's thinner, obviously, than the uterus. The uterus is thick. The ovaries and oviducts are real thin. The intestine is where the food is digested, or not digested, absorbed, I should say. There's no circulatory system. So basically what it does is, um, is it's absorbed, and then it just kind of diffuses to the, the, the cells as it needs, they need it. Um, the vagina, obviously, is where the eggs are released and the sperm enters. The uterus is where they're fertilized. The ovaries make the uh, eggs. The oviducts carry them from the ovaries down to the uterus. Does that make sense to everybody? And then you also have the mouth and the anus. And that, ladies and gentlemen, would be that. Can we handle that one? Good. We're done. Mr. Bell, you get the